We often say there's no such thing as a good tan. Many people feel that a tan is a sign of beauty, it's a sign of leisure, but it turns out that to form a tan, you have to have radiation damage. So a lot of people ask, can I use sunscreens on infants and children? And on the sunscreen box, it usually says not for use under six months of age. Well, if you think of a six month old, they're pretty fixed. You can put them a spot, they'll stay there. So for children less than six months, we do say that you can use sunscreen on their hands, their face, their exposed areas, but usually you can put a hat on them and they'll keep it on. Usually you can put long sleeves and long pants on, they'll keep it on. Usually you can put the young infant in the shade and they'll stay there. Once the child starts to get mobile, then you have more exposure to ultraviolet light. And so that's when we want you to use a sunscreen. So it's very safe to use sunscreens on exposed surfaces. But also cover-ups, the high SPF clothing are also helpful. And so a combination of a cover-up with sunscreen on the exposed areas is the way we like to approach children. Now how you put it on, it could be a stick, it could be a sun lotion, sunscreen lotion, it could be a spray, and all these are fine. It's important not to use the spray around the eyes. The sticks often will work around the eyes, and also the sunscreen lotions, if you put them around the eyes and you sweat, they'll seem to go into the eyes and burn. So using a stick around the eye is one of the things we recommend, and probably also on the lips. For young children, you can usually put it on and they'll keep it on. The problem you have is younger, older children and young adults who will say it's too greasy, it's this or that. So you want, want to find a sunscreen that's very comfortable to put on. I like the highest SPF you can use. So SPF of 30 or higher, if you can get 45, 50, 70, and that's, that's comfortable on someone's skin, go for it. The better their protection, the better you're protecting against eventual ultraviolet damage and skin cancer. The problem is some of the higher SPFs are a little greasier and people are uncomfortable with that. But the higher the SPF, the better. The other thing that happens in children is they're often sweaty, they're running through water, they're swimming. So a waterproof sunscreen is also an advantage. And most of your sunscreens today that have high SPF are also waterproof, which means they stick on your skin a little better when exposed to water or exposed to sweating. So it turns out that when you get a sunburn, that's a sign of ultraviolet radiation damage. So when you think of radiation, the body really doesn't forget the radiation it has. So the radiation damage that you had as a small child accumulates with the radiation damage that you accumulate as an adolescent and then as an adult. Our body has methods in the cells to try to prevent that radiation damage and try to protect from it. But once you have the damage, you may have damaged DNA that then continues to proliferate and could lead to cancer eventually.